Here is the Agave THC Series box. Unpack the box and check the accessories. Remove the battery box from the package. The following spaces around the system must remain empty. Use wire stripper to strip the negative wire insulation layer to a suitable length. Insert the wire into the negative terminal. Insert terminal into the negative PV connector and lock the nut. Use wire stripper to strip the positive wire insulation layer to a suitable length. Insert the wire into the terminal. Insert the terminal into the positive PV connector and lock the nut. Place the base on the ground. Use a screwdriver to adjust the height of the bottom support leg. Use a level to confirm whether the base has been leveled at all four corners. The distance between the base and the wall should be 45 mm. Drill a 10 mm hole at the center of the slot in the back plate. Insert the plastic expansion tube. Secure the self-tapping screw with a screwdriver. Install the wall mount plate for inverter. Use lifting handles to move the battery box safely. Safety tip. Make sure the lifting handles are properly connected. With steel washers tight against the box. Place the first battery box onto the base. Install the rubber stopper on both sides. Attach the connection pieces between each box for stability. Repeat this process to install all battery boxes. Stacking them one by one. Install the metal bracket behind the inverter. Install the connection plates. Hand the inverter by fitting the metal bracket into the wall mount plate. Secure the connection plate on both sides. Before starting, make sure all switches and circuit breakers are in the OFF position. Secure the PE cable tightly to ensure a safe grounding connection. Follow pork mark to 
plug PV connectors in order. Ensure all PV connections are secure and properly locked. Loosen the press nut on the waterproof connector and remove the seal. Strip the wire insulation layer of each AC wire to a suitable length. Thread the wire into the holes, according to the color shown in the picture, and check the color sequence is correct. Attach the terminal to the cable. Crimp it securely using pressure line clamps. Use a head screwdriver to tighten the screw. Tighten the press nut on the connector. Insert the terminal into the wiring seat. Follow the terminal port mark and connect them in order. Install the free phase power meter. Connect free phase power cables to grid side in sequence. Follow terminal port mark, connect free phase power cables. Neutral cable and jumper cable in order and tighten them well. Connect meter communication cable on port 21485A and 22485B and tighten them well. Check the arrow inside the CT and install the CD sensor connected to port 56 on phase A. The CD arrow shall point to lowest direction. And then install CD sensor connected to port 78 on phase B. Last install CD sensor connected to port 910 on phase C. Strip the wire insulation layer to suitable length. Strip 11 mm from the cable end. Use blue cable as 485B, brown cable as 485A. Loosen the waterproof connector's press nut. Remove the seal. Insert communication cable into the hole. Check the terminal. 7, 485B and 8. 485A are for meter communication port. Insert the terminal into the wiring seat. Tighten the nut. Insert the Wi Fi dongle into its designated port. Tighten the nut. Attach the waterproof cover. Ensuring it's locked securely in place. Before powering on, check that all wiring is done correctly. Open the battery breaker cover. Turn the battery breaker to the on position. Turn on the PV switch. Turn on the grid breaker. Turn on the backup breaker if a backup load is being used. Connect the Wi-Fi dongle 